Hello everyone and welcome to Jumping Man Tech where we specialize in HVAC but do everything DIY and today we have an emergency service call for a boiler and we got water all over the floor. Thank you to everyone to Jumper Man Tech. We have water everywhere. So this unit's off and valved off. If you open it, it said the pump was leaking. All right there. Hmm, looks like it's coming in from, I don't know if it's at the gasket or the seal went on this, but this is the Bell and Gossett pump. But yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> this thing is done. All right, let's valve this off. We gotta start by cleaning up this water. Let's go ahead, man. Start that wet vac. And we have a, and we have a mop. While we clean up the floor, putting together an idea. So, this system actually also leaks. So this thing has been off for a while. So you can see this thing all right away. It's gonna have to be rebuilt anyways. What we could do to get this one up running today is actually pull this pump off and put it on there. And that's gonna be a great solution for today. And then we figure out the rest, either order a new pump, new silk, or gasket, whatever the customer wants to do, whatever we need to do to fix this. And install that there. And we are gonna have to get a new pressure temperature gauge here. So you can see this thing just is done. I thought the relief valve went when they showed me the water, but it's actually the pump. So I disconnected the ground, cut this so I could actually see it through the wire out what goes to what. And then white to white. And this powers out. This is just 120 volts. And that is it. All right. Just leave this off to the side. And this motor is free electrically. All right, here we go. Let's let that leak out. And then we can pull this thing out, it's pretty easy. All right, Christian's gonna drain out that one. The floor is good, we can actually work now. Electrical's disconnected. This right here is the right socket that we need. Okay. The bottom, which should be totally fine. And the top, considering we're all sharing the water, we probably have some support. You in there, if anything, put a tie wrap on here to hold it, and maybe even those pipes. What is that? I don't know. But basically, what we're gonna do is take one bolt, like that, hold back here, and pull this thing out. And we're gonna do this on both sides. That's loose. Let's get that in there. Come on, right there. Let's 
comes off real easy. Looks like it's holding this plate too. All right, so let's take off these screws. Well, these nuts and bolts to be specific. Oh, we also got some more water here. We introduce air into the system. Yeah, come over there. We introduced air into the system. So that would do that. All right, let's open that back up. Let's all, let's let it truly leak out now. Now I'm gonna take this one off. Let's let that drain out. And we're pretty much about to be free on the top hand side. Right there. Leave that there. And that is free. Top is free. It's definitely supported, it's fine. And now that water's good. What I'm gonna do is yeah, you should be good here. Unless there's some more. Yeah, it should be good. Let's loosen this one up. Good there. And we'll do the same for this side. And this pump is pretty much. Ooh, that's a tight one to get to. Might need something else. Well, pretty much take off these four bolts and this pump is gonna be free. The hold back on top and I got this really cool wrench that, oh, uh, it fits. It's loosened up and we can take it out. Chris, while that leaks out, come through. Hold this pump so it doesn't fall, okay? It's gonna, it's about to come loose, all right? All right, you can pull it towards you now. Take, come take it out. There you go. And that's good. We're gonna use it all there. Let's put it on top of that unit. I'll put these screws here. These nuts and bolts, excuse me. And we're gonna be all right. I'm gonna let this be for now. It's now free and basically gonna install that pump over there. As far as this one, we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna take off the wires. Let's see if it's wired the exact same way as the other one. It should be. And that's gonna be that. Let's see. So the red and black go together, white and white go together and ground is grounded to the casing and internally we have two blues going together nope we got one blue and one yellow and then one blue and one white is that doing oh no pump is here one blue one yellow one blue and white same configuration so pretty much we're gonna do the same thing oh this looks a little loose already i might be able to just take it off from there so the little locking nut for this elbow, seal type 90 degree elbow. Yeah, that's coming right off. All right, cool. So let's loosen that up. We can loosen up our ground. It's like a little Phillips screw holding a solderless connector. Just loosen that. The other one with like a fork pulls right out. Yep, just like that. And then we have to connect our 120. Okay, black and red. And this one, white and white. Usually black is your hotline and white is your neutral. At least that's the way it should be when it comes to color coding for 120 volts AC. Pull this out, pull this out. And now we are free. Let's just put this down for now. Pull out this pump. And we're gonna reuse everything the way it is. So let's just slide this through and move on. All right, so we're just gonna hold back on the bottom with this. Use this wrench for the tight spacing. And 
when we do, we might see water coming out like last time. Because we're introducing air in Alright. So one here. That's now out. And we're going to do the same over here. easy let's see if we introduce air and water gonna come out of there and this gasket is actually it looks like it's was a handmade gasket other ones look like they were actually original hmm. all right anyways we're just gonna take out the next two and we're gonna be all right so you can't really get into it too well. All right, this, this is the setup for the job. All right, everything is loose. This thing is real tight. Now we're gonna introduce air. There we go. This thing was sealed, sealed. Let's leave that screwdriver like this. And the air is pushing everything out. And there's a hanger up there, so we're okay. Right there. The bottom is pretty stuck. Let's try to loosen it like this. Little... Right there. Because it's... Alright, Chris, you know what? Yeah. Come over there, hold that top pipe. Just make sure it doesn't collapse or anything. I got you. Just let it stay in place. Gotta take out this pump. This thing is super sealed in here. What is this? Lift it up a little if you can. Okay, right there. This is a homemade gasket. I think it's torn. We gotta get a smooth edge here. All right, I'm just gonna wipe this off. Take off what I can there. We want this nice and smooth. So we have a good seal with our other gasket. This is a wire brush wheel. I'm going to put on my drill. And we're going to clean up all that stuff. You see the difference already. Oof, this thing is amazing. That right there looks beautiful. And we just gotta do the same for here because this, this gasket really kind of stuck on there. That's a huge difference, wow. Here you can see this is the actual gasket. And usually these get torn off with pumps, but we're in a tight situation. This thing actually looks pretty good. Christian, if you can, yeah. just pick it up a little bit. Just don't go crazy. Hold up. even right there just balance out that pipe a little and this one goes here and we're just gonna put the nuts and bolts in and tighten this thing down just threw the nuts and bolts in there hand tightened it and then from here we're gonna snug these down hold back on one side and then use whatever you have get that done a little tight spacing can we set this up but basically hold back on one side and tighten the other all right guys everything is on okay nice and snug we can open the water and make sure there's no leaks as far as air possibly we can open this on this side right so then if i push water through here we'll get whatever air might be through there push it out through here and then we open this and leave it open and just vent out a little and we'll be all right let's open up this side oh definitely some air coming out of there I 
looks a lot better already. Let's let some of that dump. See how the water jerks like that a little bit? I don't know if you can notice in the video, but that's air. Air this thing out both ways. We should be good. I put all these wires back with tape. So pretty much these small wire out. These were already together. We just taped it off. Then the red wire I put with the black one and the white go with white. That's 120 volts. All right, water's open and it's looking good. Everything's looking good as far as water. That's a beautiful thing. Both valves you can see are open. We just opened up our panel here. Let's see what's going on. Burner's a little dirty, but it ain't the worst. What is this? What is this? Something breaking here? What is that? Is that burn on the burner tube? I don't know. That's not good. Anyways, got a gas valve here. Aquastat high limit switch, which is another Aquastat, but it's manual control. Got some kind of terminal block here. Ignition control, transformer. Ain't really too much over here, to be honest with you. All right, guys, can you see? We have fire. When it came on, pump is circulating nice and hot. No leaks when everything is running. And everything is looking good. This gauge is actually working. It just has that little internal leak. Either way, I gotta go. But yeah, everything is actually looking good over here. Oh man, I'm glad we can get this going. Because at this point, they have two out of three boilers out. That is no good. We're gonna see what the customer what it wants to do with this. Uh, we can put that back in here. Put a new gauge in the one we just worked on. And also, we need to rebuild this area it really looks bad it really really is bad and they can't be they can't keep one down because then when the next one goes out then they only have one out of three and that's what happened here the floor is nice and dry and clean but we're gonna wrap this one up here if anyone found this video interesting or helpful please drop a like comment and subscribe as i come out with new videos every week and i'll catch you all next time